Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mahesh and you are watching Draw with MS. So in this video we are going to make maxillary canine. So first of all we will do the marking for the sides such as buccal, palatal, mesial and distal on all the four sides of the block. Then we will mark 1 cm square for the crown on all the four sides. After this we will make a trapezoid on the buccal and palatal sides. So we will mark 5.5 mm at the base and 7 mm on the incisal edge on the buccal and palatal side. Join the points and it will form a shape of a trapezoid. Also join on the upper side and start removing the wax from the either sides of the trapezoid. So after the trapezoid is formed, we will mark the central line on the upper side of the trapezoid and we will mark the mesial and the distal slopes of the canine. So the distal slope is greater in length than the mesial slope. Do the marking as shown here in the figure. After this we will start removing the wax from the upper sides of the slopes. So it will form a shape like a hut. So after this on the mesial and distal sides we will mark the center lines again. And we will mark 8 mm on the mesial and distal sides. This will be our buccopalatal width, you can see here in the figure. After this we will make a line at the junction of the incisal and the middle third. And also we will make a small line 1 mm away from the central line and join the lines and start removing the wax. We will make a slope as shown here in the figure. So after the slope is formed we will mark the central line on the slope and we will start removing the wax from the either sides of the central line. We will keep the central ridge as prominent. After this we will remove the wax from the line we have earlier made till the base it is converging you can see here in the figure make it in the similar way. So now we will start with the palatal side we will make the line till the cervical third keeping the cervical third area as it is we will remove the wax from the upper side in the form of a slope you can see here in the figure make it a straight slope so after that we will make the cingulum Do the marking for the cingulum and start removing the wax from the upper side. The cingulum is prominent. So make it, it is a, in rounded shape. You can see here in the figure. 
Also we can see here that the crown is converging towards the palatal side. So make it in the shape as I have shown here in the figure. Make it smooth with the carver. So with the help of the cotton, apply a bit pressure on the wax and it will become smooth. You can see here. So after this we will make the ridge on the palatal side till the cingulum uh, draw the shape of the ridge and remove the wax from the grooves with the back side of the carver it will be easy to remove make the shape as shown here in the figure So we can see here how the crown is ready and we will start with the root. So for the root mark 1.7 cm square on all the four sides of the block. And on the mesial and distal sides do the marking of parallel lines from the base of the crown do straight lines as shown here in the figure and remove the wax So on the buckle side, we will do the marking for the root. The root is tapering, you can see here in the figure. So start removing the wax, extra wax from all the sides. The root is little bit broad from the mesial and distal sides and tapering from the buckle and lingua and palatal sides make the corner smooth with the back side of the carver The root of the canine is tilted towards the distal side. You can see here in the figure. So we'll make the same on the root. We'll remove a little wax from the mesial side so that our tooth is uh, looking like tilted towards the distal side. After this we will clean the tooth with the cotton. Hold the tooth with the crown so that the tooth does not break by holding it by the crown we can apply a bit more pressure on the tooth surface to make it smooth so after this we will make the grooves on the mesial and the distal sides these are the developmental grooves so with the back side of the carver we can make here So after this we will make the cervical lines, look into the figure and draw the same.
so we can see here our tooth is ready and thank you everyone for watching this video so do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new to this channel